Joining me right now in Davos uh, is Mr. Ajay Pirimal, Chairman of the Pirimal Group. Uh, Mr. Pirimal, it's a pleasure to have you here, sir, as always. Thanks very much. What's the mood like this time in Davos? It's freezing cold, but is the... Generally, the mood for uh, most of the world is actually quite a depressed mood. Yeah. When I meet people, they're all worried about what's happening to the global economy, particularly what's happening in China, mm -hmm. what's happening to the commodity prices. So it's not a very positive mood. Hmm. The only silver lining actually is the Indian economy. Yeah. And a lot of people have spoken about how hmm. India is the only bright star uh, in on the horizon. So in that but sense... But the people who are saying that are the Indians or are they... Uh, no, I, it's not Indians. Okay. Probably Indians may not <laughs> be as optimistic, but uh, these yeah. are... And these are global leaders that yeah. I'm talking about. Yeah. So, I mean, that is coming out in conversations. It is, it is. Yeah? So, it's yeah. not just the IMF which is saying that uh, India would end up being one of the largest, fastest growing large economies in the world. You are picking up anecdotally that uh, in your conversations. Yes. yes, and these are people who are also in the world of finance, whether they are yeah. large investors or they are also bankers. Uh, I'm getting yeah. that sense. What is your own sense, though, about uh, the, the Indian economy? And uh, So, I think uh, the Indian economy is poised for a better growth. Uh -huh. There's a bit of a mixed feeling. I find that there's a, now a difference between what is urban India and what is rural India. Uh -huh. So in urban India, you're uh, finding some good growth rates. When I see what's happening to airline travel, 20% yeah. up. When I'm seeing what's happening to sales Autos, of yeah. Uh, yeah, commercial vehicles. Mm. Uh, when I'm seeing occupancy in hotels and mm. so on. On the other hand, in rural India, I find that there is still some sort of uh, stress still. Mm -hmm. uh, demand is not going up as much as it should be. Mm -hmm. The budgets around the corners, I have mm -hmm. to ask you the cliched budget question. <laughs> Any expectations that you think? So the expectations... What should be the focus really? Some are saying, well, it will be, it'll be rural essentially to, to help that part of the yeah, economy. I think uh, economy uh, what way. the finance minister said is quite clear and mm -hmm. if that's the focus, it's good. The focus is to mm -hmm. really uh, increase public spending. Uh -huh. The focus is to reduce uh, the uh, to increase uh, to facilitate the ease of doing business mm -hmm. and to remove regulations mm -hmm. i think that increase public spending you think uh, that is the need of the hour it is the need of the hour has to be done yes even if that means uh, sort of slipping on the fiscal targets i think so in a very low inflationary environment and i think a little bit of uh, slip there won't matter mm -hmm. also this is a time for india to est actually establish itself what others are saying that it's going to be a good economy mm -hmm. and if uh, the little bit of stimulus by public spending is there i think economy will I think do that's well that's good right coming to pirimul enterprise and i can tell you there's a lot of interest in uh, in, in the group and how you're building out the business and you've got uh, you know, so many things that's happening under the Pyramal Enterprises umbrella. So just just talk about the group a little bit. What's what's the latest? What's been so happening? So as far as, let me talk about the public listed entity, which is Pyramal Enterprises. Yeah. If you look at Pyramal Enterprises, and I've been saying this now for the last 12 months, look yeah. at it as actually three different businesses which are in one company. Mm -hmm. And over a period of time, I think they will be independent companies. So one business, of course, is the traditional pharmaceutical business, which we are, uh, <clears throat> which is a business where many people think we have exited, but we have actually quite a strong presence. Mm -hmm. So we are the third largest player in inhalation anesthesia globally. Mm -hmm. We are quite a significant player in custom manufacturing and services for a large and emerging global pharma uh -huh. companies. We also have a strong presence of OTC in sure, India. Sure. So that's as far as the pharmaceutical space is Just concerned. Just on the pharma uh, business point, once the non-compete is over, would, put him, would you go back to being a full-fledged, I mean, pharma? So you, in some ways, we are a full-fledged pharma today yeah. because we do have products. Uh, so inhalation anesthesia products, yeah. which we sell globally. Uh -huh. We have uh, manufacturing and we have sites all over the world. Uh -huh. And we have uh, uh, some uh, some development and research and development. So no, but the areas where you can't sort of uh, go so into we right are, now. We still once the period gets over, would you? Uh, Our period is still till 2018. It's right. too early to say anything. Right, but you would have ambitions to expand into those areas once again. We have I mean, not in yet a way, thought about that yet. Okay, but okay, you're not ruling it out though, right? 2018 is not that far, by the, by the way. So it's still like three years away. Okay, so that's one piece, right? Pharma. Uh, that's one. Uh, <laughs> the other piece is financial services, sure. 
where we have quite a large uh, presence today. Yeah. We are in, uh, we have an NBFC. We also lend to uh, many sectors uh, in the wholesale space, mm -hmm. whether it's in the real estate, whether it's in infrastructure. And we also have uh, assets under management. Mm -hmm. We have uh, some private equity arms. We also have uh, partnerships with the Canadian Pension Fund, with APG. Uh, and we are also a, a big investors in the Sriram Group. Yep. So therefore, we actually span the whole range of activities in financial services, uh, whether it's wholesale, whether it's retail, whether it's under asset management. So that's an area that's also uh, mm -hmm. growing now. And the third space is in information and data, mm -hmm. uh, which is actually run out of the US where we <clears throat> get information, data, uh, and we say, as we say, we convert data into knowledge, into wisdom. Mm -hmm. And that's what we sell to people in the healthcare space, whether they are pharmaceutical companies, whether they are insurance companies or hospitals. Okay. How, how does the revenue and profit split amongst these three businesses right now? And how so, do you see that going forward? So the revenue as far as, uh, I think uh, we'll have to wait till our uh, uh, nine month uh, right. results. I'm saying percentage there. wise, broadly, so, ballpark. Uh, I think uh, all these three businesses are profitable. Uh -huh. And uh, I, I'll wait till the end of, uh, actually in a few, in a week's time. I think. Yeah, I'd the results rather will be out. Yes. The, the numbers will be out. Yes. Uh, but if you were to pick one area which you think uh, would be the real focus uh, for Pyramid, what would it be? So actually, that's what I'm saying, that we will uh, ultimately have three different companies and each will have its own focus. And therefore, I, I don't want to say that it's only going to be pharma, uh -huh. it's only going to be uh -huh. information or financial services. All these three businesses are doing well. Mm -hmm. uh, they are global businesses uh, today, other than financial services. The whole pharma is global. Yeah. Uh, data is, and yeah. information is totally global. So I think we are well positioned if I see in terms of uh, the geographies where our, uh, markets are, where we are manufacturing in that sense. Okay. When you say that these will be separate businesses, you mean you, they'll be listed separately at some point? Yes, ultimately, yes. Uh, but, I mean, what, what, what should one uh, assume would be the timeline so for in the that? Med uh, Mid-term, uh, medium-term, you'll find that. Uh -huh. As I look at it, uh, the pharma and the <coughs> financial services will be listed in India mm -hmm. and uh, the information will be listed in the pharma US. And, uh, Financial services listed separately. Se listed separately, but in a, on the Indian stock exchange. Uh -huh. And the holding company. Uh, so we have not yet thought about it, but uh -huh. we'll do it in a way that will be really uh, aligned with the shareholder interests. Mm -hmm. You said so, medium term. Would it be say by the end of next year? Uh, by so I leave that. Don't push or? me beyond <laughs> us. So let's wait for. All right, Mr. Pirumal, it's always a pleasure. Thank you very much for your time, sir. Thanks. Thank you.